Hey everybody. Uh, so a year ago I did this video on adding flex seal to your trailer or RV roof uh, for some waterproofing and I've had a ton of people asking me to do an update to find out how is this thing holding up and uh, so here we are a year later and I'm going to do a video on just that. So here it is after sitting out or being used for an entire year. Uh, I think I did the original video last June. So here we are in June 2019 and you can see it's pretty dirty, uh, especially compared to where, you know, the other parts of the trailer are that I did not put flex seal on. So this stuff definitely attracts a little more dirt, um, but I think it will clean up nice. So, I mean, you can see it's pretty dirty and dusty. We get a lot of dust out here. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to wash this whole thing and then we'll come back and take a look and see how it looks as far as waterproofing and then I'll kind of give you my thoughts on how well it held up for an entire year. To clean this I just use some Dawn dish soap same as I do on my trucks and some water and then I'm just using a regular auto sponge like I would use on my car or truck and uh, I just changed this once during the entire wash process. So look at this part that I've already washed. Um, you can see it cleaned up surprisingly well um, compared to the spot I didn't. Now, just as far as the waterproofing goes, even if you spray water on the areas that are clean or dirty, it doesn't matter. Look how the water is still beating up. Even on the dirty parts, it makes zero difference. So I would say it's pretty safe to assume that this waterproofing for this flex seal is working really, really well. I'm pretty happy with that. Now, here's how the wash process went. Basically, you can see it's really, really easy to wash this. Uh, I had zero problems. Again, I'm just using a car sponge like I would use to wash any one of my vehicles, and uh, it doesn't even take a lot of pressure or much elbow grease to, uh, you know, get all this dirt off there, and just it comes off pretty easily. So I was just giving it a quick hit with the sponge and then uh, grabbing the hose and uh, spraying that off and it just comes off really nice and clean. Okay, here this is all cleaned up. Uh, I think I spent about 20, maybe 30 minutes washing the top of this thing. Uh, and again, that's about seven feet by 14 feet. Uh, I don't see any problems with this finish. It's got no chips, no cracks. It's not faded from the sun. Uh, and this thing sits outdoors year round. So uh, you can see the water is still beating up and rolling off really, really nice. Um, so it does collect a little dirt, but it washes up nice. Uh, you can even see the spots maybe back there where the water is pooled uh, just based on the angle that the trailer is sitting at right now. But no leaks or, or anything, no issues with that at all. So after a year, I got to say, this is awesome. I would highly recommend it. So hope you all enjoyed this. Thanks for watching and have a great day.